In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite features in Photoshop, which is um, the layer via copy. So as you can see, I already have an image and some text ready to go. Uh, this is perfect for if you're creating like a magazine cover or something along those lines where you don't necessarily want your title to interfere with your image. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to unlock my background or image layer. So I'm just going to double click. I'm going to click OK. And just because I like to keep things neat, I will go ahead and rename my layer as image. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click my little eyeball on my text layer to hide my text so it's not distracting while I'm using my selection tool. The selection tool I'm going to use for this will be my quick selection tool, which is the fourth one down. It looks like a little paintbrush with some dots around it. And I have my image layer selected, so I'm good to go. And then up here on my uh, options bar, I see from the last time I used it, I have my minus subtraction. So I'm just going to grab either the plus sign or the regular one. I'm going to start with the regular one. So this is kind of like painting in on a selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag around her hair and her face. I'm going to go ahead and do this side. So as you can see, I got more than I necessarily wanted. So now I will use my subtract selection and click around now the background. I don't mind so much about those little flyaway hairs that she has. I just want to get the majority of her hair. There we go. So now that I have my selection ready to go, I'm going to go to the layer new via copy. And then right here you have your shortcut as well. So it doesn't look like anything has changed, but if I hide my original background layer, you can see now that part that I had selected is on its own layer. I always suggest doing the copy versus the cut because then it would cut it out of the original image and then it's hard, more difficult to edit it as well later on. So always do the copy. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my text back by clicking the what was a little square, click it again so I get my eyeball. And you might be thinking, well, nothing's really changed. Well, now I need to move my text layer to be in between these two picture layers. So all I have to do is click and drag, and you see a little bar kind of pops up between those two layers, and I'm gonna release. And now it is there behind her, what looks like behind her head. Now this is where the via copy comes in handy. So <clears throat> if I wanted to use my eraser tool and erase part of it, now it won't be able to see like I'm doing anything, okay? But if I hide the original image again, you can see that I erased her eyes. But because it wasn't over the text, you can't really notice. So I'll just go back. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that eraser. So this is where you could come in and like clean up you know, your image a little bit, if you feel like, you know, there's some things that are unimportant that might be distracting from your magazine name or title or whatever it is. So there's a very simple, easy tutorial on how to use the layer via copy, one of my favorite features to play with. Thanks for watching.